Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> it's me, Parker. Um, I keep forgetting to introduce myself on my videos. Um, and I'll talk a bit of, just briefly mention in my hangout, which I filmed, but I haven't posted yet. Um, so that's my chosen name. Any of my really good friends would know that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going by my chosen name on this channel. So that's me. Call me Parker. Um, yeah, so I'm just gearing up to do the individual sign readings for uh, July 20th to the 26th. And I'm just going to do like last time, whichever major arcana comes out first. So let's get into it. A lot of sword energy. Oof. Might be Libra that comes out. Maybe I just saw Moon in Libra. But we'll see. Aries. Aries, Aries. A lot of your guys' energy um, coming out in the readings. Oh, jeez. Eh. I love this deck. My brother gave it to me, but it is... It's quite tricky to shuffle and my shuffling hasn't been super on point today I don't know sometimes I'm kind of clumsy so just could be that <laughs> but uh yeah the tower I was just about to say it almost feels a bit chaotic the energy right now so it could just be that yeah that tower wanted to come out with my hand there. Uh, towers are big life-changing moments that alter the course of, you know, our, our direction, right? So we'll see. Aries, 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 Aries. I love Aries. A lot of my closest people and family are Aries energy. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Aries. Next week, please. Do two more. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Messages for Aries. Yeah. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy with uh, Gemini, major for Gemini. Hmm. I'm getting an interesting message right off the bat. Uh, this is very slow moving energy. See how these two are kissing there? <clears throat> and uh, lovers, you know, soul connections uh, could be a love connection. That cherub is kind of watching these two. And so is he. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Illusion. 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 Um, very spiritual, intuitive energy. Uh, the moon is here in both of these cards here, which kind of speaks to where the moon's at right now because it is going new in the next few days here. So that's almost, almost exactly what the moon looks like right now. Um, interesting. Interesting. All right. Anything else for Aries, please? Anything else for Aries, please? There's that cup again seen that come out and I was shuffling twice now so we'll see if it makes an appearance can be falling in love I'm getting a falling in love vibe off that eight of cups okay mm -hmm. seven to the eight seven is a card of confusion it can be overwhelmed there's so many options that's a lot of with the clouds there it's like a lot of um, it's, maybe there's a love connection coming in 
here for you guys after you walked away from something. That's kind of what I'm getting because this is like options and then picking one and moving towards it or move realizing that what you're in is not that cup. Very interesting. Oof, that's too many. That's too many. Should have taken it. It was a King of Wands. It was you guys with that Ace of Swords, but that's okay. It's okay. Aries, please, Aries. Just a couple more, please, for Aries. All right. Hermit. Uh, this has been my retrograde card. Everyone's been getting a lot of this. Oh, wasn't that interesting? So big progression energy here. And the seven. So the eight, that's that walking towards your cup or away from something that's not your cup. And by cup, it's just, you know, it's our emotion, our heart, um, literally our heart. And then we have this nine of cups underlying this hermit. And the hermit looks for the star in his lantern, which is his wish fulfillment, that cup, right? What's in his heart. Um... And this is the minor arcana to the star. So definitely moving into, um, and you know, Aries, Aries is very, is quite a vulnerable sign actually, because they're so full of energy and youth. Um, they are quite vulnerable emotionally. Um, so you guys seems like you're really getting in tune with your heart space this week here. Oh, that's so many cards. That's way, 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 way too many. I'm not taking all those. Just try and keep this reading a little bit precise. I feel like I'm getting a finger wag from spirit here on not taking those ones that came out before. Okay. There's that Two of Swords, Moon, and Libra energy that I saw earlier. Um... One more, please. Just one more. One more, please. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I do get two of swords off this card. Um, with the three in the middle, which can be heartbreak and pain. Um, this is typically a card of doing you. So that can be, um... That can just be looking out for oneself, not necessarily in the shadow energy of that. Um, again, I am getting that Two of Swords vibe off of it because I often, I've said this in other readings too, um, I do get that energy off here regarding pain and a soul connection. And with the lovers there, um, the lovers there, it's definitely screaming, you know, some sort of soul connection. Um, could be a love, love reading here with all these cups. Yeah. Emotional king. Uh, more water energy. There's a lot of water. That is fire. That's persevering in emotion here. This can be a persevering energy. It can also be persevering in a stalemate energy. And this is very slow moving night. He is building up to something, but it is very, very fucking slow energy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, so let's look at um, this High Priestess with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands. Chaotic. Chaotic. High Priestess with the Seven of Cups, please. Priestess with the Seven of Cups. Why the High Priestess with the Seven of Cups? Hmm. Nine of Swords. Uh, I did see this is like nightmares. You can't sleep. You're up all night. Look at his face, right? And then this is... Uh, Ten of Pentacles, it's your foundation, your legacy, um, your stability. So, you know, Aries is a very sure, self-assured sign. Um, 
you kind of, you guys just kind of move towards your passion by the seat of your pants there. Um, you could be worried. This is definitely with that seven of cups. Um, <clears throat> that seven of cups, it's like uh, confusion, a lot of confusion. Oh, isn't that interesting? The emperor, the empress, and the knight of wands. Hmm. Sagittarian energy. This is you guys. And this is a divine partnership, man or woman. Doesn't have to be these signs. Um, this is Venusian energy. So Libra and Taurus. It was funny I was saying earlier about Libra. Guys, some of you are dealing with the Libra or have Libra in your chart. For sure. And with that Ten of Pentacles, uh, the Emperor and the Empress are the Patriarch and the Matriarch. Talk about Patriarch. That's the Patriarchy right there. So why all this worry? Uh, I saw the Five of Pentacles, which is a lack energy. You guys can feel like your stability is at risk here. You could have options. Here, why all the confusion? This legacy here? This emperor and empress? Why the confusion? Too many, that's way too many. Okay, that's not too bad. Something affecting your stability. Uh, this tower energy can be very similar to the night. So this could be a marriage, this could be a very long-standing relationship, uh, even a business, but this especially is a very family-heavy Ten of Pentacles. Um, and that's a foundation. Big shake-up moment in a foundation here, big time. Ten of Cups, emotional security, stability, all those things. Ooh. The Eight of Cups, yeah, somebody's leaving this Nine of Swords, confused, mentally disturbed energy regarding a foundation. Here, this is the card of a foundation being literally destroyed here. And isn't this fascinating, you guys? Uh, this is your card, so you're very present in your reading here. I love it. Makes my job easy. <laughs> Um, again, could be the other person, but I'm definitely, for the sake of clarity, you know, I'm keeping this as you guys. But remember that 7 to the 8 to the 9 progression here. You guys are definitely chasing a 10 of cups here. You could have been in a situation with something that was very stable, but it wasn't very emotionally conf uh, fulfilling. Underlying, you guys are going, the 8 goes to the 10. It's like, yeah, I got 8 cups. I have 8 cups. It's a lot of cups. I'm really... You know, I'm I'm not quite the 10, though. The 10's the end of the cycle. The 10 is the happy family. Just because it's a stable foundation doesn't mean that the emotional aspect is there with it, right? So you guys are definitely, definitely going. The 8 goes to the 10, and that's you guys. Couldn't be any more clear here. Um, so let's just get one more from this deck. We'll do this deck regarding this shake-up in this foundation and this knight of wands on the bottom that's you guys charging forward right uh potentially into a partnership here that's a lot better suited for you guys emotionally you guys seem like you were very con confused about it in this stalemate energy for a long time, keeping you bound in this soulmate connection. And don't forget, guys, like we have lots and lots of soulmates and we have free will, even in very divine connections. You know, sometimes we can't honor that connection. There's the nine concerns fade away, seeing the truth of a situation. Even in very, very divine, divine partnerships, you know, we're not always on the same level in our growth and our path to come together into that. So, you know, 
even significant relationships are often not meant to last forever. That's just what I'm getting because someone's definitely moving to a 10 here from an 8. And that 10 of Pentacles came out with that 7 to the 8. And then the 8's come out twice now. So definite walking away here with this full energy. That's you guys. That's your major arcana here. Anything else regarding this tower, please? Clarification for someone if it needs to come out. Learn what you can from this situation. So that's that five of swords. Um, it can be self-serving, acting in one's interest. I come first, right? So maybe this was a very stable foundation, but you guys are walking away from it because while it's stable, it makes your emotions feel very unstable um, with this person. They're emotionally self-serving. And I'm not saying they're a bad person, but sometimes emotional intelligence is something that not everyone possesses. Some people choose to focus a lot more of the stability end than this emotional end, right? That's definitely review everyone's motives, learn what you can from this situation. Definitely going for your emotional fulfillment. You probably already have the 10 with this person or the situation. Could just all be regarding you. Um, regarding you just moving towards you want ten of cups. You don't want to be in this confused state anymore. And it's funny because remember how I said that there was this love connection here. And it's almost like spirit is watching you build on this, right? Make this move here, this decision. It can speak about a decision that lovers. Uh, so what is this Knight of Pentacles? Why are they looking at these lovers here? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Very passionate. Can be a wand. That knight there. Sexy. This is not what we want. <laughs> Stability. And passion. Passion, passion. Big call for everyone to follow their passion right now. Could be that maybe um, this offer has been sitting on the table or you've been thinking about it. Maybe you've already been making steps towards this. And that's what had you so ah about it, you know. That chaotic energy there. It's this night, Knight of Pentacles. Oof. I'll take them this time because I didn't take them last time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that movement, I knew that wanted to come out. Uh, that's communication. That's forward motion. That's that eight. This is the epitome of that fool going towards his ten emotional fulfillment. Um... Possibly communicating that I do get movement towards a, a love connection sometimes in this read in this card uh, deck because of the two dolphins there, which are also very spiritual animals. And then there's that sun coming out, clarity, moving towards that happy, happy um, fulfillment energy from this uh, state of confusion here uh, your decision making process more of that seven of cups right uh the emperor the three of cups and the page of cups uh the page of cups is honest youthful communication this is coming together with someone and see it's like that cherub it's celebration right so this could be an offer that really is coming into play for you because remember how uh, I was showing you guys the hermit with that that underlying nine, which is like the single version of this. It's celebratory. It's out having fun. It's going on dates. Um, this is coming together in celebration, not just necessarily by yourself. And there's that same freaking chariot there, you guys. Uh, cherub. Looking down, watching, watching this happen. And she's very relieved in that card. 
Um, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but her face in that card is like, oh, for me, that's totally the energy off that one. And then the emperor, that's you guys, with that, remember that vulnerable, emotional need here, coming together in celebration. Maybe you had, uh, with that, again, I was saying a very material focus, um, but emotionally confusing and stunting here. This is collaboratively celebratory energy. Knight of Swords rushing into it, more of that communication and more of that coming out of the cold with that, this is very lack, it's a card of lack, but there's the wheel after that. And then this collaborative energy kind of charging in there. Uh, this, in this deck's not the most collaborative, but that could also be someone coming towards you. That can be the emperor, right? Taking those coins. Uh, it's definitely communication here happening. Let's clarify this emperor with the page of cups and the three of cups. Sitting, stalemate, 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 stalemate. And I do get this off this one as well. Um, the spirit could be wondering if you're going to go for this, right? Because with, uh, with spirit watching like that, if we don't, if something's not emotionally fulfilling and we're not moving towards it and we're, you know, not being honest with ourselves about that and we're sitting in it for too long, spirit will do it for us. That's why we call them tower moments because they're quite often unexpected because it just shakes up the energy, right? Um, it's, it's not working for us and... When that happens, trust it, because this is a card of spirit knows best, right? You know, I like to think of it at, um, ooh, delays are over. So coming out of that, sitting in an energy, either voluntarily or an involuntary shake up in a foundation by someone moving towards their, their, um, emotional fulfillment and stability here. Anything else regarding this emperor? Woo, 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 woo. All right. There's more of that lack. Lack. Burden. Worry. It says fear surrounding money. So again, that energy of going after your heart, what is going to emotionally fulfill you and not worrying about being in lack because of that, because of leaving this, this is the 10 to the 5. And when you walk away from something like this, you are taking your half of a foundation with you, right? So you guys, I'm really seeing this as you guys are really, really scared about your stability here in the sense that you think going after your emotion, you're too concerned about the, and two of swords back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? Stability, emotional stability, um, material, material, my heart and soul, um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, this is a calling to emotion here and, and, um, you know, stress, stress here with that 10 of wands about lack. If you pull away from this stable foundation here, um, but the towers here, you guys, and if your heart's not fully in it, there's there's no amount of money that's going... You'll always have this fucking feeling nagging at you. Always. Especially if you're being honest with yourself. And here's where that page comes in, right? That page of cups. Being honest about that. Vulnerable in your emotions. Allowing yourself to go there. Admitting that to yourself. Because what follows? Six of Pentacles. Balance. And this even says life is out of balance. This focus on material stability, whether you have it or you just perceive that you have it with this person um, or you're afraid that you won't have that kind of stability if you follow your heart here. Look what comes in after. And you can't make this shit up, you guys. Seven, eight, nine of cups following your emotion, your heart here. This is what you're afraid of. 
is that lack, right? Fears surrounding money, uncertain. Um, and this also says accepting help here. So there may be a bit of ego here. Um, with that, remember, I kept hearing vulnerable. I don't know why I felt the need to say that to you guys. The situation is calling for vulnerability and maybe that's, um, that's really why. Because both of those cards, both of those cards are about, they say, accept help from others. So definitely do that if you have to, um, or, you know, you're worried about being vulnerable here. Um, page of Water, Page of Cups is this heightened psychic abilities with that High Priestess, very intuitive energy here. You guys are really in your in intuition here, and that may be new for you. That may be where this vulnerability is coming into play. Um, because that might be foreign territory for you. You've always sought this. And now you're having to be honest about going towards this. I would reach out to someone if you're struggling with that. Who's very emotionally wise. Um, maybe if you know a water sign in your life. Um, but this just, you know, is being honest with yourself. Fostering a new way of being. Uh, gifts, new opportunities, receiving loans. So we go from the five to the six. So with that page energy, this is what's actually coming in. Balance. Remember that life is out of balance here with that energy, right? This is coming into balance after that honesty, right? And you could receive honest advice from someone if you reach out as well. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Have a great week. Mwah.